Welcome back to Fast on Linux channel, ladies and gentlemen, your host for Fast on Linux content here on YouTube. Linux Mint 22 has been released. With this new generation, the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS stack is moving into the Linux Mint distro. This means modernizations, new packages and apps. We take a look at Linux Mint 22 with Cinnamon Desktop and give you a detailed overview with everything you need to know in this briefing. Ready? Then let's get started. When it comes to one of the best desktop Linux distros that is beginner-friendly and a reliable companion in everyday life, there is simply no getting around Linux Mint. Of course, the distro has been focusing exclusively on the Linux desktop for years and is continuously improving from version to version. The basis of the regular Linux Mint edition is Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, which was released by Canonical in April 2024. If you are also interested in Ubuntu 24.04, then take a look at the link in the description. There you find my detailed test of Ubuntu 24.04. But now let's come back to Linux Mint 22. This edition comes with the in-house Cinnamon desktop. This is developed directly by the Linux Mint team and represents the flagship edition. Each Linux Mint edition is given a code name and version 22 is called Wilma. Linux Mint 22 will be followed by three point releases. Linux Mint 22.1 will be released around Christmas 2024. Linux Mint 22.2 is expected in summer 2025 and Linux Mint 22.3 should arrive as Christmas present in December 2025. These are the rough key points based on experiences from previous years. Linux Mint 22 is therefore the main version based on Ubuntu 24.04. The three point releases just mentioned will remain based on Ubuntu 24.04, but will each bring a new Cinnamon version and various smaller improvements and innovations that we cannot yet foresee. In total, Linux Mint 22 as an LTS version will receive almost 5 years of long-term support from the Ubuntu substructure, and that means until 2029. This applies to all versions of the 22 generation, so you don't have to switch to the point releases, but you can stay on the respective version e.g. 22 even if I can't think any good reason why you should do that, but it's possible. Let's take a look at the technical key points. As an LTS version, Linux Mint always comes with a static software version. This means that there are primarily only security updates with exceptions such as the Cinnamon Desktop, the in-house X apps, as well as Firefox and Thunderbird, which the Linux Mint team now packs independently for its distro. APT is used as the package management to manage the Debian packages. Flatpak software containers are supported on top. The performance figures are the follows. My freshly installed system occupied 7.1 GB of the disk. The memory requirement was round about 1 GB in idle mode after startup. A total of 1931 Debian packages are pre-installed. Flatpak containers are not pre-installed. Let's check the target audience. Linux Mint has only one target group. Everyone who uses the Linux desktop. So it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner, a Windows switcher, developer, power user, entrepreneur, or simply private user. Linux Mint is your faithful companion that knows how to convince in all categories. Linux Mint 22 Wilma brings these new features. Point one, better language support. Optimized installation of language packs, which requires less hard disk space. Pre-installed language packs for multiple languages, including German, English, and more. Point two, support for new technologies. Modernized components with the Ubuntu 24.04 package base, kernel version 6.8, and support for hardware enablement series. Switch to Pipewire as a standard sound server. Point three, popular functions. Thunderbird remains available as native Debian package. Introduction of GNOME Online Accounts GTK as a separate app to support online accounts in different desktop environments. Downgrade certain GNOME applications to GTK 3 version to maintain theme support. Point four, software manager. 
faster loading and new user interface with improved multi-threading functions, better security, unconfirmed flat packs are deactivated by default and clearly labeled. Conversely, only verified developer apps are displayed in the software manager. Point 5. Switch to metrics. Use of the metrics chat network instead of hex chat for a more modern communication. Point 7. Cinnamon 6.2. New layout editor for Nemo actions, numerous bug fixes and performance improvements. Point 8. Further improvements, new functions and customizations in various applications such as sticky notes and set the text editor. Improvements for high DPI support and the boot sequence. Point 9. Artwork improvements. New collections of background images. Linux Mint 22 brings numerous innovations and improvements that further optimize the user experience and ensure compatibility with modern hardware. For more information, visit the official Linux Mint website. At the time of creating this video, Cinnamon Desktop 62.7 was available. If you watch this video at a later point in time, maybe a newer Cinnamon version was provided. The Cinnamon Desktop of Linux Mint offers a modern and user-friendly environment that has been specifically developed for comfort and efficiency on a desktop. It combines a classic desktop layout with advanced features and an appealing look. Cinnamon provides users with an easily customizable interface that allows quick accessibility to applications and settings. Significant features include a clear start menu, improved multi-threading functions and numerous customization options that allow the desktop to be designed according to individual requirements. If you come from the Windows world, you don't have to rethink or relearn much for the Cinnamon desktop. The environment will be largely familiar to you. This is intentional. Now let's come to the software selection. We have Linux kernel 6.8. As browser, there's Firefox. As email client, we have Thunderbird. As office package, there's LibreOffice. And as software container, we have Flatpak. As a desktop distro, Linux Mint also provides a software package for a desktop distro. Those who prefer to keep things as lean as possible and choose everything themselves will not get their money's worth here. However, if you need or expect a reasonable pre-selection for software for the desktop, everything you need is provided. From document scanner to music and video players, from mail client to office, everything is included out of the box. There are also the X apps such as Xet, the text editor, the web app manager with which you can integrate websites like native apps and the new cloud account app should also be mentioned here. Linux Mint provides a comprehensive range of apps without being overloaded with unnecessary junk. In my opinion, a very good and careful compiled selection of software. Cinnamon Desktop is a fork of GNOME and largely follows the traditional GTK3 design guidelines. The GTK4 and a little bit wider design guidelines of modern GNOME bring extensive changes that can lead to visual inconsistencies and potential functionality problems in case of incompatibility as the design and behaviors are not consistent. As GNOME moves away from custom CSS designs in apps and move its GNOME apps to GTK4 and a little bit wider, desktops like Cinnamon and others, for instance Mate, are increasingly facing issues. Mint is trying to offer a consistent user experience and counter this by backporting some GNOME apps. But this is likely to be a temporary game as the effort is likely to increase as GNOME involves the fork desktops will have to adapt or come up with something new. This is not yet such a problem, but in the long term this will be an issue that the Linux Mint project will have to face up to, as will other desktop teams of course. Now let's come to the conclusion. Linux Mint 22 is a great version that comes without any major innovations on the desktop. The biggest innovation is the Ubuntu 2404 stack as substructure. Cinnamon 6.2 is limited more to minor improvements. The biggest feature might be the online account app, which is now debuting as a separate app on Linux Mint. In other words, you can say, it's a boring new version. Is that a bad thing? Not in my opinion. Because Cinnamon Desktop is a very conservative, but at the same time, extremely major desktop. A workhorse, and that's exactly what it should be. 
If you are now using Linux Mint in the 21st generation, regardless of which version, then Linux Mint 22 will be a neat update for you that will not turn your desktop or your everyday work etc. upside down. I would still wait a few weeks before upgrading. I wouldn't recommend upgrading before the end of August. Why? Because it happens again and again that when the masses do the upgrade, they suddenly notice bugs that need to be fixed. If you want to take these bugs with you, please log off with the upgrade. If not, then I would advise a little patience. The features and innovations on the desktop are manageable. This means that if you work with Linux Mint 21.3 for a few weeks more, you won't die. On the contrary, Linux Mint will receive security updates in the entire 21 series until 2027, so there is no urgent need to upgrade prematurely. All in all, a great and in some places perhaps somewhat boring new version. This is not meant in a negative way. The distro is a workhorse on the desktop and exactly this claim is fully met. What are your impressions of Linux Mint 22? Let us know in the comments. If you have already done the upgrade, please write when you will do it or how it went for you. At a later date, I am planning a follow-up video on how Linux Mint 22 fared in the practice after a few months. So stay tuned. A channel subscription is already worthwhile to stay tuned. Please give the video a thumbs up and press the bell. Thanks for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. Take care and may the source be with you. Peace. Thank you.